come to you a little? Would you get clear of that wall? Yeah. Or go out a little farther. Let me come to you. It's stuck on these, these bracket things. There we go. Beautiful. So we're tearing out the flooring. Took out the old whirlpool tub. We didn't really use it too much. And we're just going to put a big shower right there. And where the old shower was, we're going to put a our old pantry from our old kitchen. Put towels and stuff like that in there. Reusing as much as we can. So here we're going to get a chisel out. We're going to move the drain from, you know, it was on the end, and we're going to put it in the center. We got uh, all the insulation and sheetrock put back together over here. This door that we put in has all been insulated and sheetrocked. Ready for plaster and paint on there. So we took that whirlpool tub out. Yeah. We <laughs> <laughs> got the road. And so film. <clears throat> so yeah, we had the drain was over on the end for the tub. And so we had to move that drain and put in a shower head. So that's all done. It's all plumbed and up. It's progress in here. Got the shower coming together. Got the pan in there. Got the curb built up. All the hardy backer is on and the plumbing's all in. The wall and the drain is in the floor. So the next thing is we're going to mud all this up. Tape it up, mud it, and then we're going to pour in the floor with an angle. And when all that dries, we'll red guard the heck out of it. We got this part is just about done. It's been we've been using this now for about a month. Everything in here is working. We got the gas cooktop operational. Um, got these chairs in. So other than that, we got uh, the beams are almost done. These need to be sanded and stained, so we put three 2x8 yellow pine beams across there and then finished it out with some finished cut cypress. And got the sheetrock done. It just has to be painted now. Got all this sheetrock and plaster done. Got that wall done. Sheetrock and plastered over here. And same thing over here. This whole wall done. So all the sheetrock and plasters pretty much done. It's got a oh, the ceiling was a mess. Got all that patched up. So now we just got to get in here and sand all these beams up and stain them to match the floor and then paint everything. Of course, we still got all the flooring to do. I guess we're about halfway with the flooring. All this flooring still has to come up. Gonna have to uh, bis queen off half of the house and tear all this up. It'll make a big mess. But get that floor leveled and put that flooring in there. We got our mantle put up. That is a piece of cypress log out of a river. Cut to fit and it's pretty good. Turned out nice. And here's that finished beam there. Well, it's not finished, but it's almost finished. Got all that sheet back and plastered up. So we're coming along. All right, here's the bathroom shower. It's coming together. This was a whirlpool tub. Took that out, made, made a big shower here. Got it in red guard. It's all sealed up and just got to get the tile man out here and get this all tiled up. It'll be nice. We can rip out the old shower and uh, retile the floor. All right, so that's the update for now. Uh, we're, it seems like we're kind of dragging this project along, but it's a lot harder when you live in a house that you're remodeling versus going in and flipping a house that nobody lives at. So it's been uh, a little harder than I thought it was going to be. It's taken, I think it's been four months already. But we did move our kitchen and had to move the plumbing, electrical, took out two walls, so it's taken a while, but it's getting there. All right, so that's it for this update. We'll uh, see you on the next one.